performing a takeoff and navigating between different plans, there are some basic functions that you should know about. First off, there's a plan navigation control at the top of the screen that provides a drop-down list to navigate between the different sheets uploaded to a project. Additionally, if you like the fill of printed plans, you can use the left and right arrows to turn the pages one by one. Let's talk about some of the basic mouse controls. You can use the mouse to pan around the plan by holding a left click down and dragging the work area in the direction you would like to go. This can be done in takeoff mode while actively counting and measuring. With your mouse wheel, you can zoom in and out, and if you have a mouse pad or touchscreen tablet, simply drag your index and thumb together on the pad for the same behavior. And down here you have a control for manually changing the zoom level. While in takeoff, there are two basic modes, takeoff and edit mode. You'll know you're in takeoff mode because your cursor has changed to a crosshair, and an item on the takeoff menu is a light blue with a small blue circle in the middle. This means you are ready to count or measure with that particular item, and you can go in and out of takeoff mode by clicking the takeoff from the takeoff menu like this. And you can transition to another takeoff by simply clicking the item from the menu. In this example, we'll count a few items using a standard count takeoff by hovering our mouse over a symbol on the plan and using a single click to count the item. Again, you can pan while in takeoff mode by holding your left click down and dragging the screen. Let's transition to a linear measurement by clicking the takeoff. And to begin, we use a single mouse click and drag our mouse across the screen. To turn in a new direction, use a single mouse click. And if you hold the shift key down while measuring, you'll get nice straight lines. And you have the ability to turn on 45s and 90s. If you make a mistake, simply hit the backspace key to delete one segment at a time. And you'll use a double mouse click to end the run. Notice you're still in takeoff mode, and you can pick up another measurement without clicking the takeoff menu again. Let's transition to an area measurement which uses the same mouse controls as a linear takeoff to start, stop, and make corrections. Now that we have a few takeoffs, let's go back and make a few adjustments. First, let's delete a couple of items by clicking and hitting the delete key. Now let's move this item that was put in the wrong location where it belongs. With linear and area measurements, you can adjust lines with the handles like this here. Lastly, if you need to make bulk changes, there's a multi-select tool on the toolbar that can be used to delete or move items in bulk.